Oh, human, you are home. I am so glad. Yes, because I need your help. I have been trying to get the dog catcher to come get the neighbor's dog, but he will not, because he says that it is not a stray. I told him that it is a stray, but he does not believe me, on account of it not being a stray. He said that if it was a stray, it would not be wearing a collar with an address on it, and it would not be chained up in the yard of the address on that collar. So, I need you to help me. Yes, I need you to help me get the collar off of that dog and put him out of the yard. I cannot do it, on account of me hissing at him, and now he wants to bite my face off. Well, yes, because of that. Well, no, not just because of that. Also because I turn the sprinkler on him whenever he's out there. Yes. And also because I play that game with him where you pretend to throw a ball, but you do not throw a ball. Well, no, he likes it when you do it. Because when you pretend to throw a ball and do not throw a ball, you just do not throw a ball. But when I pretend to throw a ball and do not throw a ball, I throw a rock instead. I suspect the neighbor's dog of holding a grudge, which is not very dog-like of him, and I respect that. It's very cat-like to hold a grudge. Oh yes, it's a very cat-like trait. For example, I have been holding a grudge against you ever since you changed my food. Yes, I know. It has been a very long time. It is going to be a very big payoff. It's taking a while because the baby shark I bought for the tank isn't growing as quickly as I thought it would. Plus, I am on my fourth shark now, because I keep eating them before they grow big enough to put in your bathtub as a warning not to do that again. But human, I am willing to put aside my rightly deserved retribution if you would help me get rid of this dog. And also make me shark fin soup. And also, take me to the pet shop, because we're out of sharks again. We'll need more sharks. Oh, and while we're at the pet store, you can get me some catnip, and that would make up to me for the time that you got me the wrong kind of tuna. <laughs> Wouldn't that be na nice? Human, is something wrong? It is very hard to tell when humans are upset, because you mostly show it with your faces, and I do not like to look at human faces, but there is something about your body. You do not look as happy as you normally do. Well, yes, you are just standing there, but normally you stand like, hmm, and today you are standing like, bleh. You see? Right there. Bleh. It is not... Hmm. It is... Bleh. It is not a happy stand. Is everything all right? Well, why are you just tired? Did you not take a nap today? <gasps> you can't nap at work? Oh... oh. Oh, human, I did not know. I am so sorry. Has it always been like this? <gasps> that is unkind. That is cruel. That is... that is monstrous. How do you survive? Oh, human, hurry, sit, lie down, nap, before you collapse. You could die. No, I'm pretty certain you could die. Well, maybe that is true. But why would you take such chances when the stakes are so high? If you die, who would bring me tuna? And and how would I get my retribution? I, I would have to take it out on someone else, and that would not be as satisfying. Come, quickly, lie down. You need to relax, and you need to do it very quickly. This is an emergency. Here you go. Very good. 
Now. Here we go. I am headbutting you. Headbutts are very relaxing. And then I run my face on yours. Just like that. See? Isn't that relaxing? Funny. Headbutt and then run my face on yours. Well, do not seem like this is relaxing for you. <sighs> well then, we'll have to try something more drastic. Nibbling your ears. Biting your ears is very relaxing. It's very comforting. Don't you find this very relaxing? Hmm. I do not think that you are very relaxed if you are giggling like that. Would it comfort you if I brought you a half-chewed mouse? Huh. Well, you do not have to be insulting about it. It is not disgusting at all. It is a very fresh mouse. Well, if I must, I must. Would you like some of my catnip? Are you sure? I do mind sharing it, but I would share it for you. And not just because you bring me the right kind of tuna now, and not just because I still have not had my retribution, but because you are my human, and I like you, and I want you to be comfortable, and I want you to be happy. When you are happy, it makes me happy. Although, if you were happy about buying me the wrong tuna, that would not make me happy. So, what would make you happy, aside from buying me the wrong kind of tuna? Oh, yes. I can do that. I would like that very much. All right. I will go over here. Oh, no, not at all. I do not dislike cuddling. I just dislike being touched. But it is all right if I am the one doing the touching. So... You lie down, and I will just come over here and lie next to you and on top of you a little bit, and you can have your head near my chest. There you go. See? That is nice, isn't it? Yes. I think it's relaxing, too. Human? Does this make you happy? It makes me happy, too. Hey, Cupcakes. I hope you enjoyed another audio of the Yandere Neko. I have so much fun with that character. So much fun with that stupid little character. Um, I also have fun welcoming new patrons to my group. There's Stro99, Anon, and uh-oh, it's Louie. So... <laughs> 
What a great, what a great name. And it promises good things, doesn't it? And speaking of good things, those new patrons are just in time for tomorrow's semi-annual butthole naming ceremony. We're going to have another one. And and for those of you who are not <laughs> who have not heard about the butthole naming ceremony, in my uh, Patreon Discord server, um, I once came in to see some some of the guys chatting, and uh, there's Art, who you will see in the comments all the time, mi corazón, I love Art, uh, who had been telling Pierce about how he and his friends don't use the word a-hole because it's vulgar, and of course it is, uh, but they have euphemisms for the word, which a lot of us do. And he said that his personal favorite was calling it grandmother's kiss, which is kind of horrifying in context. Uh, but I came into the server just as Pierce was saying to Art, I'm sorry, you named your asshole grandmother's kiss? That was the only context I had. I came in, heard that, saw that, and said, wait a second, are you guys naming your assholes as if they were swords from Game of Thrones? I can't remember who I named first. Uh, Forces always has an egg in his icon, so I named him Broken Yoke really quickly, uh, and that's where it really devolved. Um... <laughs> We have Abel, whose icon is always a robot, who is now named the Dream Machine. And there is Old Bean UK that we named Bean's Boast. Uh, there is <laughs> uh, Tomberry Shuffle is the uh, the berry juicer. <laughs> and my dear Art, who is obsessed with fire, I named Greek Fire. And ironically, although Art is the one who set all of this in motion, and Art is like our server chairman of the board, he uh, and and literally we we call him the ch the the uh, Council of Idiots chair. Um, <laughs> uh, he is the last person to have been named. I think it, I just his I work with him so closely on all of this stuff so often that it doesn't even occur to me that he didn't, he hadn't been named. It's, it's a great, poor Art always gets forgotten because he's always right there with me. And I assume that we've already gotten to him first. So anyway, if you're a patron, um, and you would like to put your name forward, if, whether you're going to be there tomorrow or not, it'll be 11 a.m. in the discord server for my patrons. Uh, if you can't make it, go ahead and drop me a message in Patreon or on discord and, We'll make sure that you get a name. We'll, um, we'll make sure that a part of you gets a name. <laughs> You'll get a certificate suitable for framing. All right, my loves. Uh, thank you to the Y writer who got an early start on my birthday because Y writer and I have known each other for a while now, and he knows that it's coming up uh, in, oh, in a week. I got one more week. And so he got an early start on getting me... Um, the way to my heart is through sewing supplies. And he sent me uh, a, an overbust corset mock-up kit and some some sewing books. Oh, baby, I'm going to have fun. You know what, though? I am becoming very difficult to shop for because I have so much more than I deserve and so much more than I could hope for in all of you supporting me and all of you being kind to me, and all of you being here and being part of this community. And I am so thankful for you. Uh, I am especially thankful to the people who give me the kind of support that allows me to do this for a living and keep going with it. So thank you to my special bakers and pound cakes, Anon, Harper Evolution, Wolf9004, Vile Miles, Succubus Slave, Malice Celo, Army Guy 007, Mr. Fabulous, Tiny the Tax Man, Meryl, Inline Flaws, Mr. Rickles, Anan Nick, Always Able, Infinite Moon, Old Bean UK, Kalua Bear, Forces, The Swaggy Llama, Cody, Artlow, Pierce Taylish, Tom Berry Shuffle, and Christian Kaleopaa. Few people are ever so fortunate as to have 
so much support from so many people. And um, if I could have anything for my birthday, it would be that you could all feel a fraction of the support and love that I feel from you. So please be good to yourselves, be as kind to yourselves and as good to yourselves as you are to me. And I will talk to you on Monday, unless you're, you know, in my Patreon server tomorrow, and I will be naming your butthole. See ya!